Oh, that color is so nice. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is a new year, obviously, which means there's gonna be a lot of new launches starting to stream in for spring, especially from the drugstore. I feel like in the beginning of the year, that's usually when most drugstore brands do the majority of their new launches. I just barely received a package from e.l.f. in PR with a bunch of really fun products. We've got some lip products here, some brow products, a primer, and a setting spray. I really just wanted to dive into these new e.l.f. products. I originally was gonna do like several different drugstore products, but then I was like, no. I wanna really, you know, just focus on one collection. And of course, I can try, you know, more drugstore stuff in the future, as always. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to start off by trying out the Power Grip Primer. So this is a new primer from e.l.f. if it will focus, here we go. So it kind of sounds like it's supposed to be similar to the Milk Makeup Primer. I don't know if that's like the inspiration for this product or not. We'll have to see how it feels. It says to apply evenly to the face before makeup using your fingertips to pat into the skin. The warmth of your fingers will help the product melt into the skin for even application. Allow 30 seconds to set before applying makeup. And it also has like a little description here. It says that it's oil-free, fragrance-free, and it's supposed to keep your makeup in place all day long. So let's go ahead and try it out. It's got a pump applicator and a really cool blue color. I think that's the color of the product. Okay, yeah, it is. It's a really cool light blue. Wow, it's very sticky. So I'm gonna use my fingertips like it suggested and really blend this out evenly because wow, it's a very grippy primer. I would say it's almost more grippy than the uh, Milk Makeup one. Wow, I think I got that pretty evenly distributed. It's like really sticking, so it's kind of something that you have to work quickly with. And then I'm gonna let that sit for 30 seconds. While I wait, I'm gonna wet my sponge. And they have a sponge in this collection. It's the Angled Silicone Face Sponge. I don't usually use silicone type products to apply my foundation, but that's like what this is for. It says this is supposed to be for liquid cream and powders. It's a latex free sponge. It has angled sides to highlight, contour, and conceal and blend. And then the base is dipped in silicone for foundation. So it's not too much. It doesn't seem like it's too much silicone. The shape is really interesting. As you can see, there's some flat edges here and then you have like the rounded bottom and then you have like an angled little chisel on the tip of it. I'm gonna go get this sponge damp while I wait for this to set and then we'll do our foundation. Okay, so it doubled in size and it's very, very soft. So I'm excited about, you know, using this. I'm gonna use a foundation that I'm very familiar with and a lot of you guys are too, just so that I can really see how it applies on top of this primer since the primer is brand new. I didn't wanna do a foundation that I wasn't like super familiar with. Hold on, my hair is falling out. <laughs> so we're gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I have mine in the shade 420. Here's the thing. I always apply the first portion of my foundation with a brush. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on one half of the face. I feel like I can sort of feel the grip. It's definitely something that you feel when you apply it with your fingertips, but I wonder if it kind of sinks into the skin and isn't as tacky. Oh, no. I just can't tell when I'm applying it with something other than my fingertips, so. Definitely does have that grip still there. I'm gonna pick up the rest on my sponge and just press this in. I, maybe I should try the bottom. I'll pick up a little with the silicone side. It seems to be working, like it presses it in really nice. Hmm, it's a really interesting shape. I can't tell yet if it's anything, you know, extraordinary. But here's what it looks like applied with the sponge. I think it went on nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and take what's left on the back of my hand and apply it to the other side of my face. Okay, it's actually interesting. I feel like the silicone side really meshes the product into the skin. At first I was really feeling like it wasn't doing much at all, but I actually do think it's doing a nice job at blending and pressing it into the skin. Cause like the other side of the sponge is a normal sponge. So it's gonna probably pick up a little bit of product where the side with like a little bit of silicone doesn't pick up the product, it only presses it. But it still has like the flexibility of a sponge. You know, it's not like one of those old, uh, remember when the like full on silicone sponges were a thing that was several years ago at this point? It's not like that either. It's a really cool in between. All right, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, and I'm gonna use this to just conceal my under eyes. 
I'm just gonna blend that out with that same sponge. Since we're using a lot of e.l.f. products today, I thought I would use my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder to just set underneath the eyes, and then I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to set the entire face with this. Oh, by the way, this sponge retails for $6. I forgot to mention that. e.l.f. always has the best prices. It actually baffles me how they're able to make such great quality products for so affordable. I'm just gonna warm up the skin with my Pure Cosmetics Bronzing Act Bronzer. And then I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Brow Lift Applicator. This is $4, and this is supposed to go with the e.l.f. Brow Lift. I feel like this is supposed to be one of those soap brow pomade kind of products. Yeah, really interesting texture. Um, this is $6, and it's supposed to sculpt, lift, and tame your brows. All right, let's see. Oh, that's nice. You get the little paddle on the other side so you can scoop out the product and then use the spoolie. So, or maybe it's for laminating. I don't know. I'm gonna brush up the brows first and then I'm gonna use the spatula to scoop some out on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna just kind of run the spoolie through the product. It picked up everything. And then I'm just gonna run this through the brows. Listen, I'm not an expert when it comes to these types of products, okay? I'm just gonna do my best here. Oh. Well, it seems to be working. I'm gonna flip it over and see what would happen if I used the spatula as a little laminator. I'm doing this first so that I can go in after with a brow pen. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit. It has such a unique texture. I don't know if you will be able to see that. I don't know, it's kind of like a jelly texture almost. Okay, I picked it up on the spoolie again. Now I'm gonna run it through the brows just like I did on the other side. Okay, I feel like it's evenly distributed through the brows. I'm gonna grab a brow pen. Well, bad news, I couldn't find my brow pens. I had them somewhere, like I had them in a box when I filmed my best of the year videos and I can't find the box. So I'm gonna use a brow powder. This one's from Anastasia and I'm gonna use a nice angled brush. I'm hoping this will do something similar. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of use the brush to fill in the brows. And I'm trying to make it look like one hair at a time. The powder is actually sticking really nicely into that pomade product. So, so far it's working really well. Okay, so there's the brows. I can't tell how I feel about them. I'm not too familiar with pomade type products, like I said, so I can't tell really what's good or not just because I don't feel that familiar with them. Um, but I don't mind them. I feel like it feels a little heavy in the brows, but that's just the nature of those types of products, I feel like, so I'm just pointing out, you know, what I'm observing. I'm gonna do a quick eyeshadow look. I actually just got these in the mail from Lisa Eldridge. It's her new liquid eyeshadows, and I'm really wanting to try one out. I think I'm gonna use the shade Bianca, which is like a little lavender shade. I only bought three out of the five shades, but I was so excited when I saw these, so I'm kind of wanting to just try them out. One of my New Year's resolutions this year is to stop saving things for special occasions. I feel like I do this with, you know, things in my home or in my life, but also with makeup. Like I don't allow myself to really enjoy makeup because I try to sometimes like save it for the perfect moment to try it. But a lot of times I've noticed that the perfect moment doesn't always come around. So, you know, this was sitting there and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna wait until the perfect video to try this. I'm just gonna go ahead and slap it on the eyes. This is so pretty and it's blending out really well too. Wow, it's so nice and glisteny. I hardly ever put, you know, glitter across the entire eyelid, but you know, I was watching her videos about these eyeshadows and it looked beautiful. So just trying something new. Oh, see, I'm so glad that I've just dipped into this. I truly feel like I miss out on so much or I don't allow myself to enjoy things because I'm always just waiting for the right time, you know? But we don't have to wait for the right moment to be able to enjoy the makeup or the shoes or whatever it is. Like, I got a tea set for Christmas, okay? And I was so excited about it. And in my mind, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to wait for like a really special occasion to use my tea set. And then I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. So for New Year's, I did like a little mini tea party and I made lavender cookies and I just, you know, just did it. I just put it together, I set the table and it was so fun. Oh, and you know, I'm getting the same feeling about this eyeshadow. I'm just glad I used it. Things are meant to be used and sometimes I forget that, you know? 
I try to like save things too much and then it just ends up collecting dust somewhere. I'm gonna pop on my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. So next up in the box is the Love Triangle Lip Filler Lip Liner. Now these are $4. I have three shades. I don't know if these are the only shades that launched, um, but they're all really pretty. So I first have, look at it, it's like a triangle shape. I have foundation on my hand. Let me wipe this off really fast. First up is the shade Mauve. Ooh, it's a really nice true mauve color. Next, I've got the shade Soft Pink, which is like a really nice soft pink, obviously. And then I've got the shade Light Brown. Wow, these are gorgeous. I will like definitely be using all three of these colors. Look at that light brown, pretty. I, of course, am leaning toward Mauve, especially with like this eyeshadow look. So um, this says that it's got a two-in-one design. I don't know what that means. I'm supposed to have long lasting pigment. So let's go ahead and line the lips. Again, this is the shade mauve. I like the triangular shaped applicator. I think it's really nice because you have that more sharp narrow end for the edges, but then the bottom kind of contours the lips. Maybe that's why it's called lip filler lip liner. Next up we have the glossy lip stains. Oh, I think they all kind of coincide with the lip liner colors. So I'll swatch these for you. This is Basic Beige. Now these are $6 and it's supposed to be a high shine gloss with lasting color. So it's supposed to like stain your lips as well. So here's the beige right here and you can see it matches the lip liner. That's nice. And then we've got Pinkies Up, which is the more pink shade. Ooh, these feel really nice based off the swatches. I mean, obviously let's try them on. So there's the pink one right here which would look really nice with the pink liner. And then we have Power Mauve or Power Mauve, however you wanna say that, which is this one. This one actually looks a little bit more of a pinky color versus a mauve, but mm, which one do we do? I almost wanna go with the pink shade, the one in the middle, Pinkies Up, which I almost feel like matches the mauve better than the pink one. Like I almost feel like this one was supposed to be this match. I don't know, I could be wrong. Let's try Pinkies Up though. This is a more mauve shade actually. <gasps> oh, that color is so nice. So pretty, wow. I really love how that looks and how it feels. Feels very lightweight, has almost like a gel base to it. I'm gonna remove the stains off of my hand and see. Oh, yep, they left stains, <laughs> so. I guess they're right about it being a lip stain. But I like lip stains because I feel like once the color wears off, it's really nice to have just a base color on the lips to help you, you know, stay looking fresh. Let's go in with a little blush. I think I'm gonna take my Winter Kissed Blush from Kylie Cosmetics, just cause this has a nice cool tone to it. I think it'll tie in the eye look with the lip color nicely. So I'm just gonna pop that on the apples of the cheeks. And then I'm gonna press that in with my sponge. All right, and then last but not least, we have the e.l.f. Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist. This has really cute packaging. This is supposed to lock down your look all day, basically, with a matte, shine-free finish. Hmm, okay. And this retails for $10. Oh, it has like a little shaker thing inside. I'm gonna spray it away for myself to prime the pump. Okay, I think it has a fine mist. I can't tell, I guess we'll find out. So I'm gonna spray this all over. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely inhaled that on accident. Mm, I don't love the way it smells. It's not fragrance though, which is nice. So, you know, if I had to choose fragrance free and product smelling over like a super yummy smelling over fragrance thing, I would choose the fragrance free, but definitely a strange scent. I'm pressing that in with my sponge. I think it applied nicely though. I didn't mind that at all. I'm adding a little more of the Pinkies Up shade in that lovely lip stain. It's so luxurious feeling, I'm really liking that. I have been using this blush like crazy. I just feel like I need something a little bit warmer on the outside of my cheeks, so I'm gonna add this. This is from MAC, this is the Fleur Power blush. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that and run it through the crease of my eye since I didn't put anything there. I just think that'll look more intentional to have a little bit of color in the crease. Normally I go in with like a clear brow gel at this point, but because we use the um, brow lift, I don't feel the need. So 
that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will leave a note in the description box letting you guys know how my makeup wore. Since we tried a primer and a setting spray, I'm not necessarily gonna be able to like tell you which one helped my makeup wear well or if something goes wrong, I might not know what didn't work. So that's why I'm just gonna do like a little note in the description so I can give you a general idea of how this ended up wearing. I will keep using everything and so far I really enjoyed everything that I tried. I think the thing that I'm the most excited about is actually the lip liners and the lip stains. These are really gorgeous, very high-end feeling. And for only $4 and $6, I'm thrilled about it. And I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to wear it, and so I will leave a note about the stain, but you can see like it stained my hand and I didn't have it on for that long. So I'm excited to see how this wears off. I'm really hopeful that it will leave a really beautiful stain behind, but it feels so nice on the lips. I'm really enjoying that. The next thing that I was excited about was the Power Grip Primer. It felt like a very grippy primer and the fact that this is only $10, I'm hoping that it really helps my foundation adhere. It felt like it was going to. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this helps. The sponge was surprising. Like at first I wasn't sure if I would really like it or not, but it's a really nice high quality, very soft sponge. And I actually did really end up liking the silicone base. Is it a need? Probably not, but the fact that it was sent to me and I tried it, I'm actually glad that I tried it out. Again, I just felt like it really helped pressed the foundation into the skin and gave me a really nice smooth finish. Plus the shape is really unique and interesting too. The brow lift, um, I don't know how I feel about it quite yet. Again, I'm just not somebody who uses these types of products that often and it kind of feels like my brows have already moved. The thing is with me, like if I'm going to do a feathery brow pomade type look, and like take the time to dip it into a product like this, it better not budge at all. So this one kind of feels like it's a little more flexible than others that I've tried, which might be a pro for some people, but for me as a con, just because again, I, if I'm gonna do this look, it needs to be glued to my head, you know? But I think it looks nice. I just don't feel like I'm familiar enough. I don't feel like I'm into these types of products enough to really be like, oh my gosh, it's everything. So for me, you know, that was good, but I wasn't like floored. And then the setting mist, I really liked the mister, but I don't know if I love the smell. I do feel like it actually mattified my skin a little bit though. It's hard to tell because I'm wearing that glowy powder, but time will tell with this one. It's a setting spray, so I'm gonna have to really see, you know, with a lot of different products if I notice a difference. So yeah, for me today, like if I could recommend one thing to you, that's new that I think you guys would really like. It's the lip liner and the lip stain. But again, check the description box for my final thoughts. There are so many new products from the drugstore that are about to launch and also high-end products. I have my eye on a lot of new things. So don't worry, I'll be trying out you know, several new things. I ended up buying the Rare Beauty powder and cream contour. I am also really looking forward to the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation that's gonna launch. I saw NARS has a new foundation. Um, I bought some new L'Oreal lip products. There's a new Revlon concealer. So yeah, we're gonna be trying a lot of new things this month, but I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, we wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That was so fun. I really loved trying out so many new, very inexpensive things from e.l.f. They always do such a great job. And I really love how my makeup turned out. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.